So what we're going to be doing today is looking into the ground using this machine here, okay? What this does is we put a small electrical current in the ground, okay, between the two probes we've got underneath the bottom there, and two probes at the end of the orange wire. As we move these um, around, if we go over something that's like a wall, more resistant yeah. stonework, the electricity or the current won't be able to flow as easily. We'll get a disruption right. to that current. Yeah. Now, obviously, you get that, so therefore it won't flow so easily, so it's more resistant, yes. hence the name of the technique, resistance right. or resistivity. Yeah. If we come across, say, a water-filled ditch or something that more loosely aggregated, then the electricity can flow better, so we get a lower resistance, yeah, yeah. and we can map the high and low resistance. Yeah. And that, quite simply, in, in essence, is what we're, we're actually doing. And again, 72 this time, isn't it? So it's gone down a little bit. But you see, at the end of the day, I will put it all onto a computer program, and I'll get a nice picture on the computer. Hi, I'm Jessie, and my favourite bit of the day was the geo scan. Why? Because um, I like to see if there was buildings under the ground. <laughs> it was like cool because we got to use the proper equipment that real archaeologists use. Hi, I'm Telvin and I'm at Astley Castle and my favourite part was at um, the castle to see um, to see like the different parts what it used to be in 1627. Yeah. 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 Blue. Blue. So they're, yeah, so they're, the hotter the colours, the more likely we are to be on a building or structure or something, a road or. So it looks like we're less likely to be on the buildings down here, doesn't it? 67. We're getting even lower now, aren't we? You notice how we're getting into a little hollow here as well, aren't we? Look at the ground that we're walking on. You know, it hollows in here, doesn't it? So it might be a little wetter. And of course, the electricity. 67. 67. The electricity is going to flow a lot better, isn't it, if it's wetter?